It is me and you here on Open Studio on Cape Town TV, Channel 263. Open Studio. And today I am with members of an NGO called Circle of Love. They are helping people or children who are in need. Without saying all the words, they are here with me to tell everything. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for uh, It's so good to have you. It's so it's good awesome to be, here. to be here. Wow, thank you. Guys, may you please introduce yourselves before we start anything. I, I'm Cheryl. I'm the founder of Circle of Love and keep, keep the youngsters intact. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm Chris. Um, you know, just do whatever Cheryl says. Um, <laughs> but yeah, essentially, I just help with sort of the, the coordination of, of various projects and, wow. and things like that. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the intro. Guys, please tell us about uh, the organization Circle of Love. Circle of Love is essentially just a group of young, old um, people that just generally want to make a, a difference in, in the world with, yes. with um, particular focus on children. Um, children. There's a lot of children that are hungry, go, go to bed, wake up, they're hungry. Um, mm. uh, young girls that are needing sanitary to towels. Um, yes. And there's a lot of essential needs that they need that are never generally, almost all the time, never met. So. Um, we just want to try and, you know, make a difference where we can. Is there an inspiration behind the name Circle of Love and who is the founder of um, the organization? I'm the founder of Circle of Love. Yes. And we basically started out by having a tea party, sitting around a round table and throwing ideas together. And the idea of Circle of Love came about where we decided the, having a circle, you can expand it at any stage of the day. It literally can add anybody in at any stage. So that's oh. where our circle came in and you can make okay. the circle bigger okay. all the time. And then the, 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 the heart came in is because we just love everybody. We want to share our love. Um, and basically that's where we, how we came up with that particular name. You are helping um, uh, children that are in need. Please elaborate on that. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's really just, you know, girls that need sanitary towels, um, food. So we do a lot of uh, projects uh, with sanitary towels. We do a lot of projects with um, non-perishable goods, uh, toiletries, so t toothbrushes, face cloths, things to clean themselves. Um, oh there's even toys, wow. tennis balls, all sorts wow. of things. Really, essentially, the whole sort of being of, of a, a little boy or girl, essentially. Wow, this, this is so amazing. Where are you situated? Where is the organization situated? And which areas that um, are you working in mostly? We, we reside in Tableview, yes. um, but we, we go to any community. Literally, from day to day, I meet up with somebody who tells me about a need that's in Grassy Park or Atlantis or uh, Mitchell's Plain or wherever and then we look at the needs to try and see if we can source um, donors and we'll assist in that way. So we um, mouth to mouth literally um, going out there and just um, finding people that need help because literally every single second person you, w you, 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 be, you meet yes. has got a need. Look, even if you look at um, the sanitary towels as Chris spoke about, um, yes. I've been to, to various affluent schools with, the, with our needs within those schools as well. Yes. So we go and we'll drop off sanitary towels at those schools as well for emergency packs. We do care packs for moms and tots, um, moms and new babies actually yes. in hospitals. Um, I basically, we collect throughout the year. We ask people to um, give us the recycling. The, the plastic bottle tops will come in and that will go to Operation Smile. We'll get the bread tags and that'll go towards a wheelchair. We are yes, throwable throwaways as well. So yes. if you mm. if you maybe have have a girl, a little girl and she's too old for a yes. cot or whatever and you want to throw it away, yes. give it to us and we'll 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 obviously give it, it to you someone. You are who needs doing it. such an amazing job that it, 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 this is it's so amazing. You're speaking of um, relocating 
um, how many members in the organization now that you're relocating are you doing all this on your own they are in total six of us yes yeah that's six of us that do it um, and we literally have got so many awesome donors you literally put out a plea and I promise you within an hour you'll get a reply of people wanting to help there's so many people that have got um, items in your home, like if you had to go through your wardrobe, throw out your old clothes that you no longer wear. They're beautiful. Yes. They, they probably don't even have a hole in it, but you, you haven't, you've got tired of it. Yes. Throw it out, out, throw it our way. Promise you by tomorrow I'll have a home for it. And that's how, yes. we, that's how we, we, we work. Back to um, the members of uh, the, the organization, you probably six, hey, in the organization. Yeah. So in terms of uh, salaries, are, uh, are they also doing it voluntarily or? Total, totally voluntary, totally. What are the challenges, guys? Um, the, fi the five of the, the board members, which are the five, um, yes. they all are um, full-time employees. Yes. So they luckily have got a salary. Um, I'm unemployed. Yes. So I basically live on love and fresh air, yes. um, and I've basically fund myself. I've um, uh, work pushes in beauty mm. products, so I bring in a bit of money on on yes. that side. So I'm also a volunteer in the organisation. And any funds, mm. any monetary funds that come into our organisation goes directly into every single project. And the reason why we registered three years ago, so we could be open and honest. Anyone can come and have a look and see where the money goes to. Um, nothing touches our, our pockets. It oh. goes directly to every project. Oh, wow. Speaking of every project, you're also running e Bogisio Tando. There is a project called Bogisio Tando. May you please tell us more about that? So, yeah, it started yeah. off as a, as a box of love. Um, so, it, it sort of runs on the same line as the, the shoebox project where you have a shoebox and you put various toiletries, uh, toys, um, coloring books, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, all those kind of things essential for mm. um, boys or little boys or little girls. Um, and then we have a party and we basically have four for sort yes. of underprivileged kids and then um, we basically have a party so we'll, we'll raise funds to get sweets and, and lunch and juice and all that kind of stuff and then will hand over there oh, in wow. it's normally December, November, December that we do it. So it's essentially the, and then falls sort of part of the like a Christmas present for them. On that note, so thank you so much. Uh, let us just take a quick break. Sorry for cutting you there. We're just taking a short break. We're going to be back. Right, we're just taking a very short break. We will be back in a short while. Welcome back and thank you so much for choosing us. And if you have just joined us, I am Atio Lemazula and I am with the members of the NGO called Circle of Love. Oh, what a lovely name. But they're doing such an amazing job because they're helping children that are in need. They are here with me in studio today, giving all the details to us. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Guys, um, you spoke of the shoebox. Yes. Before we went to the ad break, you spoke of the shoebox. When it was commenced and why did you think of uh, that? Why did you have that idea of a shoebox? So back in the day, all of yes. us that are, or most of us that are part of Circle of Love, um, we used to volunteer in another sort of uh, NGO organization that did the same thing um, and we, we decided we wanted to do more. We didn't want to just do sugar boxes. So we decided that we'd rather do our own thing. We yes. can then decide and we can have meetings and decide on what, what we feel is, is, is essential to, to you know, the community and what we want, what we feel it might benefit them best. Um, so we started Circle of Love and um, yeah, so then we obviously kept, kept the shoe boxes, um, um, but now we've got, uh, we've got sponsors luckily for those bags, those straw, yes. drawstring bags. Yes. Um, so we've now converted the box into a bag. Into so a now bag. they can carry the bag. Meaning that and the then they have it as a is yeah. Have a, they have it as a bag now yes. as well, which is which, which is fantastic. So um, yeah, so hopefully we can keep the the whole bag, um, circle of bag, bag, bag of, of love um, mm. going. There um, is yeah. there is another project which is Tandanani love each other. May you please tell us more about that one as well? 
Tanya Nani came about with um, when we took on a project um, for a disabled school, and they were based in Joe Slover, and there were two angels taking care of, um, I think it was about 18 disabled children, um, some in wheelchairs, some um, have a peg system where they're actually fed through um, um, pipes, and um, this just reached my heart totally and we decided we would help them and that's where that project came about. So we went about and got um, donations for food and clothing and um, towels and bedding and everything that they needed and um, that's, that's literally where that started. Oh, wow. Because everything about us is about the love and we want to it's share the love and help love. whoever needs the love. It's about love, especially to those who don't feel that they are being loved. Absolutely. Speaking um, of uh, uh, loved, uh, please tell us m um, of other projects that you are involved. Are there any other projects that you are involved? Because I can see that you are involved. You are actually you are actually involved in so many projects. Yes, we, we, we literally, well, as I said before, we do the care packs. I pack, we pack care packs every, um, I, I literally drive around in my car with care packs. Yes. And if I see um, a lady on the street that I, th I feel needs some toiletries, I'll hand it out over to her. So that, that you could call a project. You know, then I've got, um, at the moment, beanies in my car. And if I see somebody on the road that needs a beanie that I feel looks cold, I'll hand a beanie over. Um, literally, wherever I go, I've got supplies with me to help whoever, whoever feels needed. Um, we've started the food drive where we're trying to feed um, the little ones, five to six year olds, um, first thing in the morning because a lot of them come to daycare and they don't have um, any food or um, they haven't had breakfast or um, some of the daycares can't afford to um, give them breakfast as well. Mm. So. That's a little project that we've just started. Um, it's taken over um, quite slowly because I've approached um, quite a few daycares in our area and I've asked the moms to basically pack an extra lunch every day. Mm. Like if they pack for their kiddies, pack, a, pack an extra lunch. It doesn't have to be as elaborate as your kid. And then I will let you go and collect it and go and d d um, drop it off at the various um, houses where I know these kids need the food. So that's another huge, okay. it could turn into a huge this is project. Huge. This is huge. You can use that word because this is very huge. But we need the help. We need help. Yes. Um, speaking of help, my question to you, guys, what are the challenges um, that you're coming across? Because this is very challenging. And how are you overcoming those challenges? For example, if you see this person on the street, seeing that she or he is in need of food and you're giving or you're offering food to this person and she's going to be like, did I ask who food from you? Challenges like that. How do you overcome those challenges? Funny enough, I haven't actually, I've never met anybody that's oh, been God. ungrateful. Wow. Um, been more grateful than, than ever. Yes. Maybe we maybe just got a knack of picking out who, who you can actually see who needs the help. Yes. Um, but our challenges are, we're busy in the process of getting uh, registered with SARS and mm -hmm. getting our 18A certificate because the big corporates um, would like to um, get certificates from you if they're going to give you any funding of any sort. Yes. So that's a big challenge, but we're overcoming that at the moment. And it's, um, it's also quite expensive to do so. Yeah, yes. that's costing money as well. So everything costs money at the end of the day. And you know what? We appeal to all our donors. They've got awesome hearts. Everybody out there wants to help. Speaking of donors, how do you, uh, how do you guys um, source potential sponsors? Social media. Is that all? Social yeah, media. Yeah, I mean, it's social media, it's, it's word of mouth, it's, we do markets as well. So um, our chairman, Karen, she does, um, she's a, a, like a primary school teacher, oh, pre-primary, wow. and um, she, she does sand art. So we do a sand art table, at, yes. we have a little stand at the market, we'll do a sand art and then we'll, we'll have teddies oh, and various wow. things like that. So, um, we have like banners and obviously we've we've got uh, the running yes. t-shirts and we've got other t-shirts as well um, so branding plays a big part of um, of the marketing side 
Um, and yeah, generally people see you and they oh, what's what's going on here? So you kind of yes. you, you kind of need to be out there as well. Um, mm. But we have website, we have social media, Instagram, mm. WhatsApp, really all the the sort of platforms that. that Meaning that this is in your veins. But guys, please tell us about um, uh, the support from uh, the communities. But before we, we, we before that, we're just taking a, a short break. You will be telling us about uh, the support from the the community. But on that note, we're taking a short break. We're just taking a short break. We're going to be back in a short while. Welcome back and thank you so much for choosing us if you have just joined us. And I am with an organization that is doing such an amazing job and the name of the organization is a Circle of Love. You can imagine a circle which is filled with love. They're here today to tell us more about that love. Welcome back, guys. Guys, um, how many children you have uh, helped so far? Probably looking in the region of over a thousand, um, over a thousand, a thousand. Yeah, because we do the ship, the the the, the uh, Christmas party. We're looking at about two fifty to three hundred every year, um, and literally what happens is we put a, we put a plea out um, to our donors, and everybody is is has got such a huge heart. They will sponsor yes. one, two, three. Some of them are sponsoring up to ten boxes. Um, uh, well, ours has changed to bags now, so literally have changed, um, and th and they will sponsor us t up to ten bags a year for it f for, for for towards our party. Uh, how how um, have you impacted um, their lives? Are the stories that are coming back to you positive stories that are coming back to you that you've impacted, po you've been um, positively impacted this child's life? those stories we don't really get the feedback on that but one story that well, one incident that sticks in my mind or permanently and i think it will stick in chris's is, is as well we were sitting we we're having our little party in the the children sit in a circle, yes, <laughs> and, they, a a circle <laughs> and they open up their, their bags and they go through their goodies and they're screaming and shouting and it's just amazing to hear. And that and alone is something else to you. One little boy took out a toothbrush. Do you remember that one? Took out a toothbrush and he put, put it up like this and he like, like wants you to know what must he do with this toothbrush. And that impacted on us so much oh, wow. that there is such a need because these children, um, he didn't know what the toothbrush was what for. What is it even But for? not even that, it's something as small as a tennis ball or even a little yes. car. It was they're, like they're, they're, you can literally see their, li their face light up from excitement or just a teddy bear or anything. So Something so small, it's, like it's, it's incredible yeah. for them to... And they, have, all, they yes. have a box or a bag of it and it's, it, just, it just makes your whole year. From which age are you starting to help the children and uh, do you have the age? We, we've, actually, we've actually went and um, we started off with babies because we've also um, done a couple of visits to the Ubuntu um, um, orphanage in Goodwood. Yes. So we go and we um, play with the babies and change their nappies and have a little bit of fun there with them. Um, and then we also take supplies and stuff there. But mainly we're looking at five to six year olds because I think that's the, the vulnerable age. And yes, the, but, uh, you absolutely. Know. So that, that is our goal. Yes. But as, as we're going along, we're actually finding that where there's a child in need, there's a family in need. So yes. we're, actually, we're actually expanding our circle and we, we are including families in as well. So we find if the child's needing something, then the family's going to need something. Mm -hmm. So we, we try to now assist. So we're expanding as, we, as we're going day by day. And we've, we've, we've also did, uh, I think it was last year, we did a, those, that's a big bucket of like non-perishable goods. Oh, wow. Um, from pick and pay and checkers. So yes. we did, we raised, I can't remember how many, but then we yes. obviously went and looked for families that needed it. Um, it had you know like two minute noodles and all that like things that they can use um, that obviously won't go off yes. in the near future so that that they could obviously have something to to eat should they not have it 
Where do you see um, uh, a cycle of love in few years to come and spoke of um, expanding it? What are other ideas that you're having to expand more, to expand this um, organization? Well, the big goal is to have a community center where we can do upliftment of everybody, uh, mainly the adults, um, so they can go out and, and, and well, get uh, um, skills to go and get jobs. Um, but also the centre would then um, um, look after children that parents cannot afford daycare. Um, but then again, it's all to do with sponsors and money yeah. and you know all of that at the end of the day. So that is our long-term goal. So we were, we were working towards that. Is there anything you want to add, sir? No, I think we all obviously share the same sort of goals. So you guys um, are doing this project out of passion and love. Yes. And uh, tell us about uh, uh, the, the response from the parents of the children. I, I, is it happening maybe um, whereby you met the parent um, of a child that you're helping and how is the response from the parent not from the child yes you're helping a child yes the child is excited and you can see that she or he is a happy but the response from the parent of the child I have I have met a, met um, a, a couple of parents and they are overwhelmed they are just um, so grateful I even had a mom phone and a year, the, a year later to say, you helped my son so much um, mm. just by giving him his bag of love. Um, is there any chance that you can help him with some school supplies or mm. um, stuff like that, you know? So I, I, I then went to visit her at her home yes. and she was like totally, totally overwhelmed, blown, blown away. And the fact that she remembered us yes. and what we had done for her son, I think that's a, that's, that's a big impact on us. Yes. So if somebody wants to get involved uh, with um, uh, the organization, how, how can we get involved e e with the organization? So we have a website, circleoflove.org.za. Mm -hmm. um, there's a contact form you can put in whatever you want in there. Um, we are on WhatsApp. Um, it's the same number as your yes. number. So it's 7037. Um, so we're on WhatsApp, we're on well, obviously phone calls as well, um, Instagram, Instagram yes. Facebook. Facebook's generally the m more sort of it's uh, very common. It's interactive, yeah. we're very yes. busy on there. Literally post every single yeah, and day. Yeah, we, we get a lot of like messages on Facebook of requests, people that want to help out. Um, so yeah, really it, whatever's easiest for, for, the, for the people that are looking to, to volunteer. Guys, um, uh, to me now it's, it's something else. Whenever you're driving, when you look um, uh, at the robot, if I can make that example, seeing that person, you just look um, where can you help. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's often difficult to help um, oh, the, the wow. people on the streets. Yes. Um, we obviously try and get them into a sort of a shelter or, or something like that. Um, but it's, you know, it, it depends on the situation, obviously. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, may you please continue to do the good work. May the good Lord bless you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank you. This is the end of our show today and thank you so much for choosing us from myself who are Tulewa Kwa Mazula. Yanga ingu boyo tolo no tando. Inga zonga medin please use eno. Kutek bilkashel zayo. Dintanda nongi.